after the motorcycling cult of frogs thing called Psychomania, I figured I should just watch 1972's Frogs. It's in no way similar to Psychomania, except that both are rated PG and both contain frogs. Oh, and both came out in the 1970s. And, okay, I better stop doing that now. (laughs) A title card jump scare, that's a new one. Frog stars Ray Milland as the head of the wealthy Crockett family, who've all gathered for a July 4th slash birthday celebration on a small island that seems to have a frog problem. So much so that the noise is keeping the Crockett's awake at night. Enter young, clean-shaven Sam Elliott, which is highly disconcerting. He's a freelance photographer, documenting the wildlife and potential pollution in the area until he's nearly run over by one of the Crockett's boats. Feeling slightly guilty, they invite him back to the plantation for dry clothes and a picnic, and it's not long before he's trying to figure out what's making the wildlife aggressive. So I need to go ahead and tell you that the whole frogs thing is kind of a lie. You're led to believe that this movie is about frogs killing people, but it's not. I mean, the chemicals being dumped into the water aren't making the friggin' frogs gay either, but it is making them aggressive and bossy, and they seem to be the generals of the wildlife in the area telling all the other creatures what to do, and their orders are to kill everyone. I mean, the first death happens off screen. We have no idea what killed him. The second dies out of absolute stupidity where he trips, shoots himself, and then spiders just seize the opportunity. The third gets it when lizards construct a chemical weapon in a greenhouse. Snakes get the next one, and so on. Aside from being photographed in slightly menacing ways, all the frogs really end up doing is to get thrown into frame by off-screen frog handlers. So yeah, this is your standard nature run amok story, but Sam Elliott really makes it worthwhile. And it's not bad, it's just kind of silly at times, as people just fall victim to some stupid accident, and then a snake takes advantage and bites them to death. Elliott gets to speechify a bit. Look, I don't know what's going on around here or if it's happening anywhere else. But we're a bunch of damn fools. We don't face the fact that we're in a hell of a lot of trouble. And we're going to have to get together to fight it. Keep on talking, Pickett, because you're the only man around here who's saying anything. And has the correct reaction to having a snake dropped on him. (laughs) On the negative side, the musical score for this is interesting. Also, and most noticeable, is the odd storyline of how obsessed and committed Ray Milland is to having a stupid birthday party. As the body count increases and everyone begs to leave, Milland just keeps insisting that everyone stay to celebrate. There's no reason for this other than poor writing. I kept thinking he was so insistent because whatever was happening on the island was by design, and he needed everyone to die to rejuvenate himself or some such horror movie nonsense, but no. He was just being an asshole who wanted a birthday party, and tough luck if you die because of it. Stupid ass. Shout Factory's Blu-ray for Frogs is light on extras, but it is on a double feature disc with The Food of the Gods, so it's already a pretty good value. There is a 10-minute interview with Frogs co-star Joan Van Ark, who's a little hazy on many of the details of this film, but over time has come to appreciate that it has fans. Much like Psychomania, Frogs is goofy and better than I expected it would be. And there's a lot of shirtless Sam Elliott if you're into that kind of thing. It's no lifeguard or anything, but still, hop on over to Amazon and rib it up some savings, and I I have no idea what I'm even saying anymore. Mm-hmm. 